Insecure ended over a year ago. Yes, Do you did. miss it? I miss the people. Okay. You know, I miss, I don't miss the work every day, but I miss like my castmates. I miss the behind the, the writers, the um, the crew. Like it was just such a yeah. fun environment. It's such a major part of my life. It, it was life changing for me. So I'll always have love for it. Um, but yeah, I, I love that it also ended on our terms. Right. So you're calling it your mogul era? I <laughs> I did say I feel like I want to enter my mogul era. You know, like I want to I want to build with intention. Build with intention. Mm -hmm. So that's how your mind works. That's your thought process. A little bit. I'm just like you know. I wish I, I could say that I'm this master planner, but I really go by like just my gut in terms of what I feel like I can be additive to what I feel like, you know, I can put my my touch on, my spin on, whether it's creating shows, whether it's businesses, whatever it is, I'm just, I'm, I'm just like, I, I want to see all that I can do. See, uh, well, baby, we seeing this for sure. <laughs> What's the lie? I got a list. Just to name a few, okay. The first black woman to create and star in a scripted series for a premium cable channel for Insecure. That's the one. <laughs> executive producer of a black lady sketch show and created the show Rap... Shh, shh, I can't say that. Oh, uh, Rap S. Okay, founded your own production company called Hooray? Yes, Hooray! Okay. <laughs> Come on! Co-owns multiple coffee shops and the hair care line, Sienna Natural. Yes. What, what, what else do you want to do? I mean, I want to do so much. I feel like, you know, I'm just getting started. I want to like build a studio in South LA, wow. you know? Like that is a, a big pa passion project of mine that I'm actively pursuing. Tell me what mug you picked. Oh, I picked strong, beautiful, brave, and courageous. Yes. Yes. But I gotta let you know, I have a new relationship with the word strong. Mm -hmm. I, like I'm not trying to be a strong black woman anymore. I'm tired. I'm, I'm exhausted. Yes. Okay. I'm at, so I, in, in the special, I talk about why I don't want to be a strong black woman. I'm weak. I'm so weak. Oh my God. I need help. I'm so exhausted. So, I, you know, I, I said all the other races get to be damsels in distress. Right. And we get to, what, wait to exhale? Mm, I'm done. I'm tired. It's time to exhale, huh? I'm, uh, I'm breathing. <laughs> I'm breathing. I'm giving up strength. There, but there is strength and vulnerability. Yes. So that I am re. Energizing the word strength and strong with like being, you know, feminine, soft. I love that. Y'all can, y'all can that. have the strength. Y'all can. Congrats on your new stand-up special. Thank you. That's amazing. Congratulations, you got married last summer in yeah, Italy. Yeah, I did. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. What was that like for you? It was beautiful. I mean, you know. Uh, we always thought it was gonna be like 120, 135 people at the wedding. Mm -hmm. 200 people showed up. Oh. Everybody was on vacation mode. Everybody was like, See. do I get an invitation? Cause I'm gonna be there. We, <laughs> I sent out invitations where I thought people would say no and they all showed up. Uh, <laughs> But we had a good time. It was amazing to see so many people, like so many friends of ours. Look at my mama. Look at my oh, mama. Oh, is that mom? Look at my mama. Oh, mom was happy. Yeah, it was amazing to see so many people just come together and celebrate and just have a good time. Like, it was a big party. We had a lot of fun. Great accord. Yeah. That's amazing. Talk to me about the movie Somebody I Used to Know. Yeah, you know, uh, Dave and Allison, Dave Franco, Allison Brie, Mary, beautiful couple, power couple. You know, they were sitting at home during the pandemic, like most of us, and they started watching all these rom-coms, and they were like, we want to bring the rom-com back. Like, we love this genre. We want to do a movie. So... You know, they uh, they went out and wrote this movie where Allison's character is basically coming home after like mm -hmm. some career disappointments. And when she does, she bumps into her ex, Sean, at a bar. They go out, they have this amazing night together. And then uh, she decides the next day that she wants to pull up and oh. say like, hey, like last night was great. Let's keep it going. Only to find out that that's the weekend of his wedding. Yeah, so uh, Kiersey Clemens uh, plays my fiance in the movie who is beyond talented. Allison is a genius as well. Like, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. We shot in Portland, Oregon, oh. uh, which was amazing. It was where I went to college, so it was cool to like go back and be there. It's, it's fun. That's dope. Listen. 
So Allison Bree told us she was running with us in the scene naked. Butt naked. Did you did you have to do that? Nah, I ain't have to do that. Okay. I did a lot of that on Insecure. I ain't got to do that no more. Oh, oh, Insecure. I don't carry my naked dudes. I don't do the naked no more. <laughs> but <laughs> nah, I don't do that no more. No, but Allison, Allison and Kiersey actually ran naked in this scene. And honestly, I think there was first of all, Allison wrote this scene she for herself. She wrote that for herself. But I do think that, like, there was, there was this moment where you could literally see on both of their faces, it was like 40 degrees outside. Oh, my God, it was freezing. And you could see this moment on both of their faces where they were like, we got to do it right now, right now. <laughs> like, right now, right now. And then they started running and they started giggling and having fun. And it was, it was really cool to see. It was, it was fun. Now, Insecure, that was a great show. Do you miss it? I miss everybody. I can imagine. I miss that. everybody. It was it just I seemed mean, like a community vibe. Yeah, it was a bit of a dream to work with all these incredible black creatives and, you know, in a place that I, I that my second home is L.A. I grew up in South L.A. and South L.A. hasn't been, you know. Now, now don't get me, don't get, get it twisted. I grew up in H-Town and in Mo City, but, I, you know, I moved to L.A. when I was 18, so, and I moved with my mama, so it was like I grew up in South L.A. and it didn't get the respect Inglewood doesn't get the respect it deserves. Ladera Heights, you know, both. So it was a dream to be able to work in that environment and to get to celebrate that area and see people hired from that area. Right. Although I'm mad, I didn't get to work on it while I was living it. Uh, <laughs> you can always go back. Okay, you're an amazing activist. Tell everyone what you're passionate about. I'm passionate about bringing about a better world for the people that we know we love. You know, the, my people, my black folks, indigenous folks. Um, I have 24, I always say I got 24 nep nephews and nieces wow. and I can't, I always imagine, I wake up, I do my best to meditate and envision a better world for them and I fight for that world. And every day I know that that world, that my, my imagination has been stifled by the things that we, the culture that we grow up in, societal pressures and oppression. And so I do my best to free my mind, free my imagination every day and imagine an even more liberated world for my nephews and nieces. And I fight for that, fight against state violence, anything that's gonna attack them. Wow. Yeah. Once again, well said. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.